Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Study with Simi. Today we will be learning about photosynthesis. So before we start, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So let's move on with the video. Now photosynthesis. Plants make their own food from simple ingredients and sunlight. Plants need sunlight to survive. They harness the energy and light to make food from carbon dioxide and water in a process called photosynthesis. Now let's read about the light reaction. Photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that combines carbon dioxide gas and water to make a molecule of glucose. The glucose is the plant's food and is sent around the plant to provide the energy it needs. The waste product of the process is oxygen. Now, where does this oxygen go? Yes, the oxygen goes into the atmosphere from where we breathe the oxygen in. Now, let's read ahead. Photosynthesis itself is powered by sunlight. A chemical called chlorophyll in the leaves absorbs some of the light's energy and uses it to start the reaction. Now, let's read about the leaf. A leaf is a plant's solar panel. It is flattened to create a larger surface area to catch as much as sunlight possible. The light shines through the surface of the leaves and photosynthesis occurs in the cell. Inside, water arrives from the plant along a vessel that runs down the center of the leaf. Carbon dioxide comes into the plant from the surrounding air through pores called somata on the underside of the leaf. So yes, stomata were the pores we learned about in the video about plant tissues. Now, this is a diagram of our leaves. As you can see, these are the chloroplasts. These are the palisade cell, which means the column-shaped cells under the upper surface are where most of the photosynthesis takes place. Vascular bundle, as we learned, xylem and phloem. Lower epidermis, upper epidermis, pointy mesophyll, water loss, and guard cells. Now let's read the equation of photosynthesis. 6 CO2 plus 6 H2O and then the arrow, which is the sunlight, which will be the sun's energy is crucial for photosynthesis. C6H12O6 plus 6O2. So if we write it in words, it will be carbon dioxide plus water, then the line which represents sunlight, glucose plus oxygen. Now this is also a leaf. Now, the chlorophyll in the guard cells causes them to respond to light and open the stomata on the leaf. Carbon dioxide from the air travels into the leaf through the stomata by diffusion. Now, the atmospheric carbon. During photosynthesis, carbon atoms are taken from the atmosphere. These atoms are the building blocks of all organic compounds in both plants and animals, which eat them. Now, the oxygen, which is the waste product of the photosynthesis, leaves the leaves through the stomata by diffusion. Now, let's read about chloroplast. Yes, chloroplast is very crucial for photosynthesis. The chloroplast is the organelle where photosynthesis happens. Now remember, an organelle is the organ inside a cell. 
the process has two phases the light and dark reaction the light reaction so called because it leaves light harness the energy in sunlight to create a supply of atp an energy carrying molecule the atp is used to power the dark reaction where an enzyme called rubisco combines carbon dioxide and water to make glucose now this is a chloroplast this is the stomata this is the stroma lamellae granum and hyaloid so let's read about each and every one stroma the dark spaces between the tracheoids and grana stroma lamellae single membranes connect the grana granum the tracheoids are arranged in sac called grana or in singular called granum thylakoid the light reaction happens on membranes called thylakoids when several chloro chlorophyll molecules work together to trap light energy inside a chloroplast the chlorophyll molecules are attached to membranes called thylakoids the dark reaction takes place in the stroma the spaces between the thylakoid and grana all green parts of a plant contain cells filled with chloroplast now let's read some thing about the real world the autumn colors now if we see when autumn comes there are not green leaves there are red yellow and different color leaves why is that deciduous trees drop their leaves in winter when it is too dark to photosynthesize efficiently before being shed the leaves change color turning from green to brown this change is due to the chlorophyll being absorbed by the plant for use in the next year the atom colors are formed by pigments called carotenes that are left behind now let's read about the absorption of spectra this graph shows the wavelengths of colors of light that are absorbed by the chlorophyll the dip in the middle shows the yellows and greens are absorbed less than reds and blues now let's read about the chlorophyll itself the chemical pigment chlorophyll is what makes the plant look green each chlorophyll molecule absorbs the red and blue light in sunlight using its energy to power photosynthesis and reflects the rest back so what we see is the green light that is not used by photosynthesis refracted black so this is what a root is now here water moves into the root from the soil due to osmosis thank you for watching hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell as well now don't forget to share that to your friends and tell them to subscribe as well i will meet you in my next video